allows me a comfort that I don't get anywhere else. I just came from a dysfunctional alcoholic family and back in the 60s, 70s when I was in my teens and early 20s, nobody nobody ever answered any questions. You weren't allowed to ask questions. I, so I didn't know what alcoholism was. I didn't know my father was sick and scary. I felt like I never got rescued and and spent a many, many years being very angry after that. And the world owed me something and I was, I couldn't behave myself. I didn't know how to not be that person. So uh, fortunately, um, my Aunt Barbara, who was at the house knitting with my mom, she said, sit down, I'll teach you how to knit. And the minute I touched it, it was like magic. It was, I, I had something in my hands that I could, uh, be in charge of. You took a string and a couple of sticks and wrapped some loops around it and watched it grow into this big piece of fabric. And to me, that was just amazing. If one person doesn't have to follow in my footsteps with the drugs and alcohol, because I didn't know what to do with myself and I wasn't very comfortable with who I was, if, if I can get one person to turn to knit instead or crochet or sew or quilt or paint, it's, it's about making something with your hands. Every single time we have a group, I go home with a, with a story. Somebody will share something that they had no plans on sharing. We all get to participate in their healing and, and therapeutic value or whatever, because while they're knitting, they'll tell us a story. And um, those are the stories that I'm writing at my website and as part of the inspirational book that I'm putting together. I want everybody to know what happens when you sit down at a table and make something with your hands. It frees you up to talk through the process of continually four or five days a week having these groups and meeting new kids and sharing I'm a little, it's a little, it gets easier, it gets easier to share. They need, they need help, they need something to do besides get in trouble and be on the computer. I'm seeing already in the short amount of time that it's working for some of these kids who are, look forward to seeing me. Here I am sitting here talking to you and it, I, I'm out of my shell, I'm out of my house. Every day that I give something and I've heard it a million times, and I never believed people that, well, I volunteer and I get so much back. I never believed that. And it wasn't gonna be something I ever planned on doing. And if it's all it takes is something as simple as getting some sticks and some yarn in hand and showing people how to make loops on a stick for them to feel better, then I'm all about that. Yeah.